Of Willis retiring, the main concern now should be to find new fast bowlers to spearhead our attack. Well, the man with the best claim to an England call-up at the moment must be Jonathan Agnew of Leicestershire. He took another four wickets today. He's currently the country's top wicket-taker and with 8 for 44 against Cambridge has recorded the best bowling performance of the year. In the game between Leicestershire and Warwickshire, Agnew received an award for being top wicket-taker in April and May. A great achievement for a bowler who looked destined to start the season in the Leicester second team. But after a run of injuries to other players, Agnew gained a place and has never looked back. This was wicket number 43. A marvellous delivery to claim the scalp of Warwickshire opener Paul Smith. After a succession of injuries and disappointing seasons, many people had written Agnew off, but his county kept faith in him. And this season, Agnew's wickets have taken Leicester to the top of the table. Jonathan's beanpole physique the is not ideal for the grind of fast bowling. In fact, he's hardly put on an ounce since making his debut as an 18-year-old after leaving Uppingham School six years ago. It was on the small yard behind his dormitory that Agnew honed his skills, as many Uppingham schoolboys do today. He joined in imaginary test matches with Leicestershire teammate James Whitaker, also a star player in the small quad. Housemaster Malcolm Tozer always encouraged the special game, and Jonathan's still an expert at the rules. Very simple, a short pitch. You have to let go of the ball from behind that drain pipe there. They've only got about two paces run up, so it's really quite hard work. By the time you've got a couple of overs, it's really quite exhausted. The wickets, of course, have to be uh, rather enlarged because of the amount of bounce that you got from the tennis ball. So uh, the, the, the normal wicket, in fact, would be, uh, would be no good at all because the ball bounced over the top. So you have to give the bowlers a bit of a chance. And uh, let's talk about one spot on the pitch there, which I think uh, a pace bowler like yourself would be trying to find. Yes, that would be the spot that I used to try and exploit a little bit, yes. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it flies rather nastily out of that, as you can well imagine. But uh, the pitch as a whole usually played pretty well, you know. We used to brush it about once a, once a month. And uh, <laughs> it took a little bit of turn later on in the day, but we, uh, we had some great games on here. Traditionally, matches in back streets and schoolyards started many cricketing careers. And Jonathan Agnew began his fast bowling at Uppingham. As a 13-year-old, he decided to give up spin and give pace bowling a whirl. Well, I spent five great years here. I really did. I... I've, I think cricket was most of my life. I event, uh, originally came here as a music scholar, but uh, cricket soon took over from that. What happened to the music? What you were studying? And uh... I, was, I was studying the tuba and the piano, but uh, I'm afraid they soon fell by the wayside as soon as I got into the cricket. Your start this season must have exceeded your wildest dreams, I should think. I had a complete winter off, which has been the best thing for me that I've ever done, in, in, in my opinion, certainly. I uh, have had no competitive sport at all for six months, I got to Cambridge and was raring to go, which, let's face it, it's hardly a big game. But I was that keyed up for that game. It really showed what a, what a good winter I'd had, yeah. People have uh, criticised you, saying that one of your problems is you're about six foot three, six foot four, and you're very skinny, round about the 12 stone mark, and that you ought to build yourself up a bit. I've tried everything, Dennis, everything. And I can't put, I, I, I eat like a horse. Ask my wife, I, I eat like a horse, but I can't put any weight on it. That's how I'll always be. Whatever Jonathan may achieve in his professional career, he's unlikely to better his school achievements. 131 with the bat, and on the famous school ground, he once recorded some, uh, figures of nine overs, eight maidens, eight for two. Well, that's like something from a boy's own story. But then Jonathan's return to form this season makes a chapter of success, with perhaps more pages to come.